an Air Force vet stops in Summit on a 3,000-mile walk for his peers. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a local man found dead this Monday in the Blue River north of Breck died of accidental drowning. Summit County Sheriff's Office launched a missing persons case last Wednesday when 53-year-old John Scott Still of Breckenridge disappeared. The coroner yesterday determined he drowned sometime after that. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. You're always accumulating massive amounts of information. You're, you're looking for witnesses. You're looking for last seen points. You're looking for financial transactions. You're looking for phone activity. You know, we look for surveillance videos, cameras. The sheriff's office responds to dozens of missing persons cases every year, often runaway youth and front range visitors. Now there's this misinformation out there that you have to wait a period of time to report someone missing. I'm here to tell you that's not true. If you feel that someone's missing, a loved one, a friend, somebody, you can report them missing the moment you feel they're missing. Fitzsimon says most cases are resolved in a day or two when the missing person is found alive. 71-year-old William Shuttleworth left Frisco early this morning for the final third of a journey he started in May, walking 3,000 miles across the U.S. for military veterans. When they find out what I'm doing and that I'm walking for them, it oftentimes brings tears to their eyes. Shuttleworth served in the Air Force in the 70s as a mental health clinician, and these days, his mission is the same. It's hard to acknowledge as a soldier that you have uh, depression. It, it's it's career-threatening. So they come home and they have witnessed events and participated in events that's just more than the human heart and soul can wrap their brains around. Shuttleworth says veterans attempt suicide once every two hours and 64,000 are homeless. A solution is better representation in D.C. where just 8% of congressmen have served compared to 72% in the 70s. Where are the John McCain's and the Bob Dole's and where we need them today? They're all gone. Hardly anybody in Congress really knows what's going on with veterans, and we need to elect more vets. He's got 900 miles and one month left before ending at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Follow his progress and donate at VetsDon'tForgetVets.com. Today on Hidden Gems, the Keystone Aqueduct Trail circles the Keystone Golf Club, weaving past fairways and mansions as it follows an old irrigation canal. It's mostly flat and the perfect length at 1.4 miles, showing you a side of Keystone only golfers and historic ranchers know. Take the trail west to east, starting from the trailhead on Keystone Ranch Road, found a quarter mile before the golf course clubhouse. Tune in every Thursday for more backyard hiking and biking trails you might not know about with... Hidden Gems on Crystal 93. Love is free. That's Colorado folk rockers Gasoline Lollipops playing tonight's free concert in the park series at the Frisco Historic Park. Music begins at 5.30 p.m. on 2nd and Main Street with beverage sales to benefit High Country Conservation Center. Dogs are welcome if they behave themselves. Local fire danger is moderate today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies are playing the Nationals right now, trying to salvage one road trip win. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. Yesterday was race four of the Summit Trail Running Series at Horseshoe Gulch, north of Breck, where 17-year-old Chris Rolfe won the men's 6K title, just ahead of 51-year-old Ava Hagen for the women's crown. 26-year-old Mason Mitchell took the 14K long course race. 21-year-old Casey Donner won the women's long course. Next race in the series is August 7th on Flumes and Gold Run. Yesterday was also race four of the Vail Mountain Bike Series, an adults-only race at Lost Lake, where Christian Rabello took the pro men's and overall title riding for mountain peddler Tokyo Joes. Gretchen Reeves won the women's race, riding for pedal power Tokyo Joes. Next race in that series is August 14th at the Berry Creek Bash in Edwards. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.